I told you before the break that we have some uh, business to take care of with that man right there, Bill Baruch. So it's nice to see you. You said you sold Salesforce. We documented how poorly that stock traded after its earnings. You took the money and you put it into ConocoPhillips. Tell us. Yeah, ConocoPhillips just recently announced an uh, acquisition of Marathon Oil. And the integration here, I think, is, is really excellent. Um, Ryan Lance, the CEO of Conoco, talked about it earlier in the week that it wasn't really their plan. It wasn't really on the radar, but it came on the radar a few weeks ago, and, and they just basically couldn't ignore it and hopped on it. The, the integration here is going to reduce costs. It's, it's going to bring in free cash flow right away, specifically in Eagle Ford as well as in the Bakken, where they overlap uh, a lot of land. And it's sort of like a shale 2.0, where they're going to be able to go back into these wells. Between the two of them, there's about 2,000 wells. So I think the efficiency here, uh, and, and where where you know drilling is picking up uh, in the U.S., I, I think this is really great lining up. Now we only have about nine percent energy right now, so I wanted to add this to to increase that. We've typically, on average, had about 12 percent over the last couple of years. Mm. So I, I, I'm looking at that to uh, get us where we want to be. HOD highs of the day uh, for COP. You take a look at that. You own Conoco. Yeah, we've owned it for about a year. It's up. It's yeah. up a good bit over that time frame. They beefed up their asset base. Still trades reasonably inexpensively. Uh, they've got great operating margins, low debt, um, great balance sheet, high free cash flow. So it's a it's a terrific business in that space, and they're one of the largest and lowest cost producers. So you sold Nucor uh, as well as part of your action this week. Why so? You know, like Salesforce, Nucor was at our bottom five, you know, about a 1% position. You know, we were down about, say, 10% or so on that. So 10 basis point hit to uh, to portfolios, just kind of, you know, cleaning things up, moving that away, putting that cash somewhere else, want to move on from it. Now, after I sold that yesterday, uh, we've had Chinese PMIs and Chicago PMIs miss. So, you know, the tra trajectory here, I don't think it's too favorable. So I'm happy with, with the move for now. Yeah, I mean, just when you think that manufacturing is going to work its way back, you you get, you know, two steps forward maybe and then one step back or maybe one step forward and I don't know, it feels like a few steps back. Um, thank you. We'll talk to you soon.